In the past few years, 3D movies have made a tremendous comeback. Last year alone, movie studios put out more than 40 3D films or re-releases, compared with only one 3D movie as recently as 2008. 3D movies create an immersive experience for the audience. Images appear to fill the empty space between the moviegoers and the screen, often with startling results. All of them rely on your brain's binocular vision system, which takes 2D images from each eye and combines them in a way that lets you perceive depth and distance. Let's take these colorful cardboard glasses that most people associate with 3D movies. Each pair has one red lens and another that's cyan. The red lens lets one eye see only red images. The cyan lens picks up only bluish green images. On screen, you're presented with two slightly offset images that were filmed separately. One is red, the other is cyan. When you're wearing your 3D glasses, each eye sees only one of those images. Your brain takes the information from the red image and from the cyan image and puts it together to create a three-dimensional picture. A more recent approach to making 3D movies is to use polarization rather than color separation. A typical polarization technique is to have two synchronized projectors hit the screen at slightly different angles. To get the 3D effect, you put on a pair of glasses that have polarizing lenses, which look way cooler than the colorful cardboard glasses. Each lens allows images from only one of the projectors through to each eye. Again, your brain fuses together the separate images to create the perception of depth on screen. So the next time you're enjoying a big budget Hollywood blockbuster, you know a little bit more about how that 3D magic was created. For Scientific Americans Instant Egghead, I'm Larry Greenmeyer.